Mitch McConnell wants to join us via oh, Zoom. Okay. He is disgusted with our show. He says yeah. that we are not spreading the right information. And uh, I want to talk to him. Uh, I, please allow me just a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen, He's to talk to this guy. He's going to straight? All right. Yeah, well, he has a right. You know, I believe in giving people a chance. Mr. McConnell, Senator McConnell, hi. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's me, Howard. I want to say uh, good morning to you. And uh, good morning to you, Robin. Don't and, speak uh, to me. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I'm well, going to handle give, this. Uh, just sir. give me a chance here. I also want to say <laughs> hello to uh, uh, Baba Bowie, whoever the hell that is. I was told to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like saying it, quite frankly. Baba Bowie. Yeah, well, uh, let me tell you. Let me get into it, if you don't mind. You helped. Yes, Here's the thing I don't get about you. You, you said Donald Trump was bad in your statement. Then you acquitted yeah. him. You know, yeah. you're saying there was a riot and it was his fault, but right. Uh, but then you didn't vote to. I don't understand what you're doing. Well, I want to explain to you. I'll try to be as clear as I possibly can. My okay. only well, objective here, okay, is to make sure that Republicans are uh, maintaining control of the Senate, and I would do. And pretty much anything to us. I would, I would, I would gargle Trump's balls on uh, Fox and Friends if it meant I could stay in power. I, mean, I really would. I really, thank God I, I don't know the meaning of, uh, of shame or dignity. <laughs> you know, I'm laughing. I'm laughing with you, sir, but I'm trying to figure you out. I'm sorry. So do you support Trump or do you hate Trump? Where, where are you at with all of this? Well, uh, the, the truth is, uh, uh, why do you think I do support him? I, I support him because he's an idiot. And the fact is, other idiots support him. And the idiot vote, when, I mean, when you're a Republican, Howard, uh, the idiot vote is crucial. I mean, I would I would go out and shit my pants on national TV and, and eat it if it would appeal to some of these, you know, waterheads that vote for us. I wouldn't care. I'd stick a, I'd stick a goddamn tomato up my ass for all I care. <laughs> well, all right, you know what? I'll tell you what, I, I'll tell you what I think. I think you you're... Know what I'm yeah, I think you're being very, very honest, and I do appreciate yeah. that. You're saying you just want to stay in power no matter what. I do it. I do it. But, I told you, I'd gargle his balls. It sounds something but, like this. But imagine this is Trump's balls, you ready? Okay. <laughs> I will do that. Wow. Well, you know, I would I, I, I've never seen... This is the first time you've called into my show, but... It, 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 hey, it's kind of fun. It, but in all seriousness... And I know you're trying to win over the audience with being kind of a loose guy, but you got to be mad at Trump for turning on you, right? I mean, he, oh, man, he, I'm furious. I'm furious about what happened. I mean, you think about all the bullshit I've had to cover for. I mean, you think about porn stars and uh, piss tapes and uh, backdoor channels to the Ukraine. I mean, all of this just to fuck over poor people, Howard. I mean, it shouldn't be this hard. It really yeah, shouldn't. well, you, I'll tell you what, you have been loyal. I mean, you, you, you know, you, you, yeah, I, I mean. Was polish, I was polishing his balls for four years. Absolutely. I pretended not to see all those, those ridiculous tweets. I, I mean, I even, as you say, I even acquitted him for trying to basically kill the Congress. And just to remind you, I am, I'm in Congress. I am a big part of Congress. I mean, anytime this guy wanted to fuck me, I would basically pull down my pants and I would gape for him. <laughs> You know, wow. when you, well, you sort of flex over your asshole, you know. You're, you're making the point for me. By the way, what is gape? When you say you gape for I, Donald Trump? Yes, I, just, I Googled this before the show. Basically, usually when a gay man, you know, before he's about to be uh, sodomized, he will bend over and um, it's almost like a wink that they do with their <laughs> asshole. And it looks, uh, but sometimes I've seen it as big as a baseball. And, uh, oh, wow. you can fuck it. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, it's, I've, I've seen, uh, people wow. put an entire fist up there. I mean, it's really. <laughs> You're on fire. I would, do that. I would do it for Trump. Well, yeah. It's true. And I want to, but I do want to say something about, uh, about Donald Trump. And I want to be clear. Donald Trump is the most contemptible, lying, two faced motherfucker since, uh, well, <laughs> I guess that's me. <laughs> and, that, and that is really saying something, Howard. <laughs> well, okay, how's this for a twist? You're not going to believe this, but we're getting a Zoom call right now from former what? President Donald Trump, who's oh, now mad goodness. at you. Oh, he must uh, be Howard, Howard, listen, listen, listen. I need you to hang up on this dried-up turd, Howard. I, mean, <laughs> I hate this guy more than Ronnie hates apples, and that's a lot. Believe me, believe me. Oh, gee, look who did. Look who called in. Mr. Lose the White House and Congress. 
Pence in one foul swoop. Uh, you really, really gave us a full Trump Taj Mahal treatment, didn't you there, you fuckface? You know, the election was rigged and everyone okay. knows it, turtle face. Oh, you're really, you're really going to comment on uh, my appearance, eh? Have you ever taken a look at your hair? It looked like someone left a my pillow out in the rain after a dog fucked it. All right, very all. funny, very funny. But yeah. I can't take a guy seriously whose neck hangs lower than his own balls. Oh, okay. I guess I guess that's supposed to be an insult, isn't it, Mr. President? Or should I say, Mr. Ex President? What are you doing now? You I bet you're at the buffet line at Mar a Lago, you fat fuck. Oh, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> really Arcuate. funny. You know what? I will, and I'll go down there to the buffet every day and tell yeah. everyone how your face looks like a melted candle. Fuck and you. they'll nod, and they'll say he's an idiot, and they get me a nice piece of roast beef. Oh, roast beef. I mean, roast beef. Isn't that what your mail order wife has in between her legs, uh, roast Beef. What Isn't a, that right? You know, Where'd you meet her? Right. 90 day fiance? You're, you're garbage. Me. You know that, Mitch. You're right. garbage. Guys, yeah. guys, asshole. Now you're both. <laughs> what's funny is you're I'm both. Fired. I'm, I'm kind of happy to see uh, you guys fighting, actually. You're both on the yeah. same team, remember? Well, you, no, you have a point. Yeah, that is true, Howard. I mean, uh, all right, Donald, would you agree we are uh, 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 on the same team? Yes, yes, we're both on Team Trump until you decided to grow a bear as soon as I was out of office. You know what? You look like Roger Ebert after they scooped out the cancer out of his face. Google it. It's surprisingly accurate. Believe me. You know, Don, you think you're very clever. I, I think you were best when you were hosting a, a fucking game show. Remember that, The Apprentice? Oh, well, what, was the, what was the premise of that again? Oh, yeah. The world's worst businessman. Yells at meatloaf because he didn't sell enough snapples. That's really. Oh, uh, really listen, listen. Brilliant. I deserved an Emmy. That show deserved an Emmy. And oh, you, sure. no, you ugly, inbred hillbilly. You know, tell me, how does it work? How does it work? Did your mom fuck your brother to make you? Or was it your yeah. daddy, your grandpappy? I can't tell. Wow, guys, uh, by the way, that's I awesome. just want to say, I want to remind you, you're making uh, you're making news now. I guarantee you every network is tuned into this. And I want to thank you for doing yeah. it on my show. And And I'll tell you what. And this is what I'm talking about. The yeah. politics has gotten so ugly, even between you two guys. Very uh, dirty. I, Very dirty. I mean, yeah, you know, I feel like you're going to say something you regret. I don't care. I really, I, I, I'm very tired. I want to be clear here. I hope I sound clear. I'm very tired of licking this the orange fucking orangutan's balls uh, for oh, four years. Oh, that's right, Mitch. That's right, Mitch. You loved licking my hairy balls. You heard it here first, New York Times. Break that. Now come eat yeah. my ass, you fart-faced turtle, with the penis of a much smaller turtle. Boom! Trump I wins. Did. I did walk right into that one. That is true. McConnell, you are a dumb shit. I did walk hey, into that one. I'll tell you what, uh, Senator McConnell, I've never yes, heard sir. anyone stand up like this at me with the comebacks and everything. But uh, uh, not, uh, why don't you guys apologize to each other? I always like to end okay. on a happy note. That's true. I, you're, you're right, Howard. Now, thank you for giving us this uh, platform here on your program. I do want to apologize. Uh, Donald, I've, uh, I want to apologize. I, I've spent so much time talking about what a corrupt... No good, loser, greasy grifter you are that uh, I forgot to mention that you're also dumber than a sack of shit. You know what? This is absolutely unbelievable. This from a guy who sounds like a Confederate cassette player is running out of batteries. Unbelievable. Oh, uh, you know, you're so fucking dumb. You don't even know how dumb you are. Really. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse me. I know exactly how dumb I am. Thank you very much. No one knows it better than me. I know how dumb I am, even better than the generals, okay? Everyone uh, says yeah. so. Well, I got two words for you. It might sound a little familiar. Uh, you're fired. Oh, you're oh, fired. and I carried you. <laughs> I carried you. You only got reelected because of uh, me. fuck you, you diaper-wearing piece of shit. Oh, diaper fuck Donald. you, bitch McTurtle. Fuck you, orange, uh, big, 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 Purple big, big, hands, big, purple big, hands. Tiny dick. <laughs> oh, oh, tiny big, tiny, you're the tiny dick. You've got a mushroom dick as well. Oh, that's fake news, and everyone knows it. That's All fake right, news. You, you cheated golf. You cheated golf. I mean, oh, you ignorant bag of shit. You can't even play I'm golf. Bad. This is what I mean. Not this is what I mean. Old. This, this is the you level. Know, this is the weirdest thing about you. You want to fuck your daughter and everybody hey, I knows. take that as a compliment. Joke's on you. And I'm so yeah, close. Yeah. I'm so Let close. You, this is what it is. Douchebag. People are not governing it anymore. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mitch McConnell and President Trump. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this off because this well, is that what was I'm, the most refreshing conversation uh, between uh, the president and Mitch McConnell I've ever heard.
Well, people aren't, you know, my point, Robin, is, as you can see, that was an excellent <laughs> example. People aren't governing anymore. They're just talking <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>